Imagine this, you record a video in English and in just a few minutes, you can watch yourself speaking perfect Hindi, Spanish or even Japanese with your lips moving exactly as if you spoke those words natively. No awkward mismatches, no endless hours of editing, just smooth, natural looking lip sync powered entirely by AI. Sounds like a scene from a sci-fi movie, right? Well, this isn't the future anymore. It's happening right now and today we're going to break down a fascinating new tool called Sync. So that's making this magic possible. Even then, something always feels off, the lips don't match the words, and the video loses that sense of authenticity. So, what exactly is Sync So? At its core, it's an AI-powered lip syncing tool. Here's how it works. You upload a video, you upload or record audio in any language, or even just type text and convert it into speech and sync. So automatically reanimates the lips in your video to match that audio. You don't need to train it on your voice. You don't need fancy editing software and you definitely don't need a film studio setup. Just upload Sync and you're done. Now, let's talk features because this isn't just a gimmick. Sync so actually supports 4K video output, so you don't have to sacrifice quality for convenience. It lets you use real voice recordings, but if you don't have one, you can generate audio straight from text using text-to-speech. You can even clone your own voice so the dubbed video still sounds like you, just speaking another language. And if you're a developer or running a company that needs to scale, they even offer an API so you can plug this tech directly into your workflow. Pretty powerful stuff. But who is this really for? Well, the most obvious group is content creators, YouTubers, podcasters, influencers who want to reach global audiences. Imagine growing your channel, not just in your native language, but in five or 10 different ones without hiring a team of translators and actors. But it goes way beyond that. Teachers can use it to create multilingual lessons. Startups can use it to localize product demos. Even filmmakers can experiment with new ways of storytelling, testing voiceovers or dubbing scenes into different languages. All right, so let's start from the very beginning. If you're trying out Sync, so for the first time, the sign-up process is actually really simple. Just head over to their website, sync.so, and click on the sign-up button. You can create a free account using your email, or if you prefer, log in quickly with Google. Once you're signed in, you're instantly taken to your dashboard. No complicated setup, no waiting for approvals. You're ready to get started right away. Now, let me walk you through what the dashboard looks like. Right at the top, you'll notice there are two modes, light mode and timeline mode. Light mode is perfect for beginners. It's super simplified. Just upload your video and audio, hit the lip sync button, and the AI does the rest. If you're brand new, this is where you want to start because the interface is sleek, intuitive, and doesn't require any editing experience. But if you're someone who wants more control, maybe you want to fine tune things or work on bigger projects, you can switch over to timeline mode that gives you a more traditional video editing layout closer to what professional editors are used to. And the best part, you can flip back and forth between light and timeline anytime with just a click. In the center of the dashboard, you'll see the big upload box. Here you can drag and drop your video files. It supports MP4, MOV, VBM, and even AVI formats. So pretty much whatever you're working with, it'll handle. Below that, you have two options for the audio. You can either upload your own audio track, maybe a translation or a dubbed voiceover you've already recorded, or you can use the generate speech feature, which lets you turn text into speech directly inside the platform. That's really handy if you want to test quickly without recording anything. And once you've got both your video and audio loaded in, all you have to do is click the lip sync button. The AI takes over and in just a few minutes, your video is re-rendered with perfectly matched lip sync. On the top right corner, you can also track your live usage balance. So you'll always know how much processing credit you've used. This is great for keeping an eye on costs, especially if you're experimenting with lots of projects. And that brings me to you. What do you think? Would you use a tool like this for your own videos? Or does it feel too uncanny? Do you see it as a time-saving blessing? Or are you more cautious about the ethical side of things? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. Hearing a carefully synced version created by AI. That's a question we'll all have to wrestle with as this technology spreads. So, will Sync thought so completely replace traditional dubbing studios? Probably not, at least not yet. There's still a human touch and artistry to performance and translation that AI hasn't fully mastered. But what it does do is put the power of global communication into your hands. 
you don't need to wait for a big budget or a production team. With the right tools, you can make your content cross borders instantly. If you found this breakdown useful, give this video a like, subscribe to IdeaPlex and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next big idea. And if you want me to do a live test of sync, so in a future video, let me know in the comments. That way we can see firsthand just how convincing this technology really is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.